the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today to talk to you about a 2019 Tab 320S. This is the Boondock Edge Series. For more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure that you call. If you email or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for the Air Force guy, but let's get on to this camper. So with the Boondock Edge Series, there's gonna be a couple of neat little things that they do for you. As you can see, and I don't know how bright you, you can see this is, but this has a light, light bar that's up on the front. Let me show you, you see if you can see a little bit different. So I'm able to shut the light off and turn it back on, as you can see. Then you're also gonna have them in the back. Let me show you those as well. So on the back of the camper, you're gonna still get the, uh, your rack back here, but you're not gonna have the spare tire here. I'm gonna show you that's gonna be up front. But you'll get these little lights here. These are LEDs, they're bright. So if you're looking to light up your camp spot, maybe you're getting there late, you wanna light things up to make sure you get set up right. These are a great addition uh, to the tab. So as you can see, this is where your spare tire is gonna mount. It just mounts right on this rug, little rack here. This is gonna be where your LP bottle and your battery's located. And of course, then you have the boondock uh, platform up front. Now, for those of you that might want to get the platform on a regular tab uh, 320 without getting the boondock or light or edge series, you can do that. So you can add what we call the platform, and then if you wanted to, you can add what they call the boondock tub, which would that would be here where you're putting your uh, propane and the battery. Now when you get the platform, you're also gonna get this little tray here. They call that a generator tray, whatever you'd like to call it. With the, if, if you're not getting the uh, Edge series, the Boondock type series, then it, your spare tire is gonna go up underneath just like it normally does. Now also on, on all the tabs, you're gonna have these handles that they put on the front and the, uh, and the rear. Nice thing with this, if you have a relatively level piece of ground, this makes it very easy for you to be pulling, pulling this thing around, pushing it. Makes it easy for you when you're trying to uh, connect it to your vehicle because you just gotta get close, you can come out, you can pull that, put that right up on the ball. So on this off door side, this is also where you're gonna be dumping your tanks. So you have your black tank dump and your gray tank dump. Now I know somebody had asked, you know, if they, because of the water storage capability in the gray tank, if they could just leave this valve open. And yes, you can. What you'd want to do is close that valve uh, probably a day or so before uh, you go to empty your black tank. So that way there you have something to rinse through the sewer hose. Now, another thing you can see, of course, this is a single axle. And, you know, one thing with single axle trailers, highly recommend that you put a chalk in front and behind both tires. I had a customer uh, one time, uh, they bought a, uh, one chalk to put behind one tire and put in front of the other tire. That does not keep you stable. Now they are gonna come with uh, what we call stabilizers. Um, and that is gonna be on all four corners. So you have one here, one on each of the corners. Those are what exactly what they say. They're stabilizers, you put those down and it's gonna keep the coach from rocking. If you're able to uh, chalk both tires, then that will keep, that'll keep the, the uh, tires from moving, which will give you a much uh, more stable RV. Now, so when you get to your campsite, what you're gonna wanna do is before, I would tell you before you start leveling your camper and get it into position, check to make sure that your electric is gonna reach to the uh, power. Also make sure that you're, if you're gonna be connecting to water, make sure that your hose is gonna reach, as well as your sewer hose. Because the last thing you'd wanna do is, you got your, your uh, coach level side to side, front to back, now you go to hook up and you're not close enough. So that'll save you a lot of time. So the first thing you're gonna do, level side to side, after you make sure that they fit. Um, then disc, uh, disc, make sure you chalk your tires, disconnect from your vehicle, and then level front to back using your tongue jack. Uh, from there, then you put your stabilizers down and hook up everything, and you're gonna be ready to go. So as I mentioned, this is where you're gonna hook up your city water. If you're gonna uh, take water, portable water for you, that's your uh, fresh tank uh, fill right there. This is where you're gonna be hooking up the cable if you have cable. Now the other thing you could do with that, ladies and gentlemen, is you could go to like a Walmart and get yourself a regular TV antenna so that you can get local channels. 
back here of course as I mentioned you can see where you're you're plugged in a nice thing when you're plugged in you're gonna be able to see um, if you actually have power because the light will come on you actually have an outside shower as well as the inside shower and this outside shower you're gonna see that you do have hot and cold water this is for your Aldi uh, exhaust system right there now for those of you that have the air conditioner you want to keep keep an eye on these um, on these vents here make sure you see how they are fo uh, folded up not a good thing when it's raining you want to fold those things down uh, also be careful when you're washing your trailer because you don't want to be squirting water in there they do uh, there are some people that have made covers for those all you have to do is go on the tab Facebook page and I'm sure they could direct you to those uh, covers for that particular refrigerator vent make sure that you don't keep it covered when, I'm sorry not the refrigerator for the AC uh, vent you do not want to have that covered up though when you're using your air conditioner and here we're on the back of course you can see the rack that you have on the back there put bikes on there you can put whatever you can get a tray uh, you do have an option to get solar panels for this that is an option uh, make sure you talk to your salesperson about that uh, to make sure that they explain that to you properly and you can see these lights these lights are very very bright you're going to have one on each side and of course I talked to you about the stabilizers now on this one here because you have the boondock uh, addition you see it's going to sit up a little bit higher off the ground now because of that these rear stabilizers and I'd recommend for the front anyway is get yourself six by sixes so when you put it down it's going to give you a nice solid base for this to sit on so on your door side, but you're going to notice one of the, right off the bat, you're going to notice now now the light is yellow here. Nice thing with the yellow light is you're not going to attract the bugs like those big bright white lights. Now you have the option of getting the lagoon uh, table connector outside here, so you can take your table from the inside. For those of you that I mean, most of the time you're going to be outside anyway, but for those of you that want to keep the um, the dinette area left into a bed all the time, you can just leave the table out here. Um, now standard is you get this door out here and that's going to get you to storage up underneath the sofa so you, you have two ways of getting in here and as you can see and I have the, the sofa pulled up but you can see you can get to it from behind the sofa you can pick up a sofa cushion to get to it and then there's a door to get to uh, part of this on the inside as well now right next to that you're going to have 110 outlets GFI protected so if you want to go ahead and uh, you know hook up anything on the outside 110 power wise you can now you have the Keter rail on here and it, you can see that it goes from here it's going to that one's going to go all the way around for the top that is for that visor if you want and then they also have the one going down along the bottom here so that way there if you want to get that add a room feature you could do that and that'll just enclose that whole area on your camping side now these two vents right here this is for the uh, refrigerator vents and that's mainly for maintenance uh, and it keeps it breathing to the outside lets it ventilate and so forth you see you have a step to go up there and that door you know you don't have that uh, plastic latch uh, like so many others that break all the time I mean this one is plastic but the nice thing is when you open it it just snaps right in place and it's not going to be moving around on you you don't have to worry about if you go to pull the door to close it that you're going to break that plastic piece now on this boondock edge series what you're going to notice nice, look, look at this nice boondock handle and you see how they spelt out boondock right in the handle they've also added two nets here for your door to give you a little bit more storage because you know storage in these small campers are a premium okay so also on the door you're going to have this uh, portal window you can get an option to have one in the uh, shower area as well and of course it, it has this privacy shade that you could do on there and it keeps private or you can go ahead and be able to that way you can see out or see in whatever works for you but that's on the door so another cool feature with this is the fact that you have the, the screen door which is built in as you can see that just opens up like that makes it very very simple keeps the bugs out but yet lets a nice uh, fresh air come on in easy to put away just gonna go ahead and push back in now, I know that I've had some people talk to me about this being kind of tough to move what you want to do for that is use some silicone and silicone down in this uh, track right here and that should help it uh, loosen up a bit 
Now for your windows on the inside, they have latches that you just go ahead and release and then this window can open. Now once you open it, by the way, you can open it and you can see how far it can come out. And then all you're gonna be doing there is locking down these arms here. Then you're gonna have a, you have a privacy curtain inside that comes from the bottom or you can pull from the top, pull the screen down, you can have it half and half, whatever works for you. But it makes it really nice uh, for ventilation because you're gonna have a power vent fan in the roof which will really circulate the air. But let me show you inside. Okay, so on the inside, uh, what you have here, you have an entertainment center, you have a TV. Now you're gonna have an AM, FM, CD stereo with a DVD player up in the front, which I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, you do have a strap to keep this from moving as you're traveling, but this does pull out, you can spin it, you can turn it, makes it very nice. Right above that, you have an AC fan switch. That fan switch is different than the fan switch when you're turning on your air conditioner. What that does is that is going to be exhausting the fumes from the air conditioner because this is a window AC and it's not hanging outside of the uh, camper so they're going to go ahead and exhaust that to the outside. Right above the TV, this is going to be your Aldi system. Now the Aldi system is for heat, for your uh, hot water. So those are the two things that, uh, that it works. and. There's a multitude of things that the way you could use them. You could use it on electric, you could use it on propane, or you can use it on both, depending on how hot you want it, uh, in, in you know temperature-wise, or how hot you want your water. Um, so there are a lot of different ways. Make sure that your salesperson does show you that uh, when you do do your walkthrough on that. If in fact you have solar panels in the tabs, unfortunately they don't put the panel for you to be able to read what the solar panel is doing out where you can see it. It is actually up under the seat that I'm sitting on. Um, and this seat, when you pull this cushion away, it, it, this also is an area where you can get to your Aldi system. It is screwed down. Most of the times when I'm doing the walkthrough with my customers, what I do is I'll take the screws out and then ask them if they want to keep the screws off uh, after I show them what's below it or whether they want me to put it back in. So, but make sure they go over that with you, as well as the Aldi system, which I'll uh, cover here uh, just a little bit. So as you come in the doors, you're, you're gonna notice your cabinets here and your refrigerator. Let me show you what your cabinet's gonna look like here. As you can see, there's your cabinet. See where the refrigerator plugs in here. Good storage. Now they do come with a pack of stackers that helps you for leveling your trailer side to side. Also comes with a cutting board. The cool thing with this cutting board, I don't know if you can see that there, it says tab on it. There's a wood cutting board that fits not quite nicely over top of the sink, as you can see right there. Now, just down below the refrigerator, you have this, this um, opens up, and you, again, you have a little bit more storage there. Now, I mentioned the refrigerator. This thing opens up quite nicely. So you can see good little storage inside there, as well as storage on the door. Now this refrigerator, cool thing about it is it could operate, and you'll see it, it's here. You have um, LP, 110, or battery. Now 110 or, uh, 110 or the propane is what will cool it down. Battery is mainly for transportation mode um, where you're not going to be opening and closing it. And of course this is how you uh, turn on your LP. And of course you have your temperature controls and so forth. So this is for your 110 temperature control. This is for your propane temperature control. Notice there's no temperature control for the battery because all that will do is maintain the coldness and you just don't want to be opening and closing the door while uh, operating it on battery. Now on top of your counter, as you can see, this is going to be your two burner uh, cook stove here. Nice thing is Oh, you know, you're able to light it with this. You just need one of those uh, lighters, and you can light them. Very easy for you to uh, utilize. And you can see that when you're not using it, you're able to put this lid down, and now you have that additional counter space you see there. Now, underneath the cabinets here, you can see you have a nice little light here, and this light, you have two different settings. Well, you have three. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, and then it has a brighter setting. Of course, it's right there by the window. You're also going to notice that they have 12 volt USB and 110 plugs right up under the cabinet here. And then 
If you're wondering where you're going to check for your battery power, fresh, black, gray, turn your water pump on, that is all right there next to the sink there. So very accessible. Now then you also have your AM FM CD stereo with the DVD player. The cool thing with this, it does have zones on here, so if you're planning on adding additional speakers, you could do so. Um, it is Bluetooth capable. You have an aux plug as well as a USB connection port. That's all right there. Okay, so above your uh, sink and, and cooktop there, you're going to have storage. You can see a little bit of storage up above, you know, if you want to throw your keys and so forth right there. Then, of course, notice how the doors hold up. You're not having to use your head to hold them up while you're loading and unloading. You know, they, they really do a great job um, utilizing all the space in here to maximize your storage capabilities. Continue on about storage. You can see that you have the net up here. And there's this little uh, ledge there that's around, that's on this side. It's all, also over here by uh, the air conditioner. Then back in the back, again, notice how the doors stay open. You're not having to use your head or have somebody else hold the doors open for you. Now on the windows, the cool thing about it, let's say that um, you don't want to have the windows open maybe for um, security or whatever. You have two different settings when you're locking these down. If you lock this in the first um, area here, what this is going to allow you to do is now you have a little bit of air that could be coming through there for circulation if in fact you turn on your power vent fan on the roof. Now you're going to want to have it where it's pulling it through, not dumping in. You see it has a couple different settings on here. And then, of course, you have speeds that you could set the power vent fan on. So now you want to go ahead and make this a bed. Now they have slats, which I'll show you in a little bit, that come out and they're going to go across and fill in this section. And then these um, cushions here are going to fill in this area here. For this back to lay down, all you're going to do is you just remove this cushion. Notice you hear the little snap. It's, they have the Velcro on the back of them, as you can see. And then that keeps them from moving and falling down while you have them up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this little click, it'll go down. Now this is extending your bed here. Now the nice thing about the way this one's set up is that let's say you want to maybe sit and read or lay down and read. You can see how you can set it up a little bit so now you can stretch out. By the way, the uh, dimensions of this bed are 73 this way, so front to back, and width is 70 inches. When you go to the ones that have the outside kitchen, then you're going to be 59 inches this way and 70 inches side to side. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, so I had mentioned as far as to get to storage down below, I can reach through here if I have to. Uh, I could also lift up this cushion here to get underneath. And you're going to notice, I'm going to just move this table out of the way here. But back here, move this cushion out of the way as well. Back here you've got a nice ledge. You're going to notice on both sides, you're going to have one. Uh, you're going to have 110 power, but over. I'm sorry. On that side, you're going to have 110. Over here, what you're going to have. This is going to be the 12 volt USB plugs. Then you have storage up underneath here. Makes it very, very user friendly. Okay, so let's talk about this table here. Now, this table it moves in a few different directions. You have a couple different. Um, controls on here as far as to keep it whether it's stiff or not. So I just loosened up underneath. Let me show you what I just loosened. See this right here? This has a handle, which is, you have three of these. You have one there, you have one here, and you have one down the bottom. And what they're for is that is so that you can adjust the height. You can, adjust, you can take this thing off. It, it'll spin. It spins a couple different ways. You can spin it that way. It spins this way. So you have a, a two different pivot points and then you can take it off. That's how you set it up for a bed. Now let me show you how you get under these cushions here. So after you remove the table, maybe you probably have it outside anyway, you can just flip these two cushions up. You see this is the storage, that's where you're coming in from the outside. So very easy to get to this. Then the next area, this is where your Aldi system is going to be located. Now be sure that when you pick one of these up that your um, salesman goes over you know how to drain it with your um, your low point drains as well as your drain for your Aldi system is right under here 
Make sure they demonstrate that, how to do the bypass and so forth, because these do need to be winterized, contrary to what some people are saying. I do have a video on winterizing this, and I'll link that down below the video for you. So underneath this cushion here, as you can see, this is where you're going to have your breakers and fuses. Nice and easily accessible, right there. Makes it quite easy. Then you're also going to have a GFI outlet. And then your carbon monoxide LP leak detector, located right there. And make sure you test that on a monthly basis. Now under this cushion, this is where I was telling you about, what they do is they'll have a screw in here, because this is back behind the electrical panel. They don't want anybody messing with it. I just asked my customers whether or not they want me to uh, leave that off for them so they can access, have access to under here. This is basically where you're going to find your panel for your solar panel. And again, you can see it's just, this is really just for maintenance. You don't want to be storing anything under here. Now, I mentioned the slats that would go in between. You can see how they have it set on either side there. Nice thing with the way they have it so that they're not going to be sliding. Notice how they put these little stoppers. You're going to put them on either end. That way there, those slats won't be sliding on you. But those, they store them right under here. And you can see how nicely they store them. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 2019 Tab 320S. This is the Boondock Edge Series. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for the Air Force guy. I do appreciate you watching. If there's something in particular you'd like me to cover for you, by all means, just reach, reach out to me. The specifications for this unit, as well as my contact information and pricing for this, is down below the video. Thanks again, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.